Go with Stacey Abrams. We need to start putting money in Georgia. Oh my gosh, yes. I am so proud of that woman. Oh my goodness. Yeah. We are all grateful for her. Yeah. Let me tell you. Uh, Atlanta went above and beyond, and now they have to just do it again in January. Exactly. Exactly. Well, we know where to put our money. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. and to that point that, that Lindsey Graham character said we wasted our money. No, we didn't waste our money. We were putting money into the economy that they tanked. So it wasn't a waste. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> All right. Let us get started. Um, so welcome, everybody. I think we have a couple, or maybe Randy is, has anybody, are there any artists that haven't been to, or haven't been to an, an artist talk for call and response? I think Randy may be the only one. Um, this is my first time participating and my first one. Yay! Yay! Are you going to do it again? I, f I didn't apply to nine. Did I miss it? I was thinking about it. There's still a week it's left. Okay, so good. Do it. I, I, I really enjoyed it, as you'll see when it's my turn. <laughs> but yeah. yeah, this is really, I needed it. I needed it now. I didn't know I needed it. And it, thank you for doing this because it fills a void. I've been, everyone's really enjoying it. I've met so many different artists who have done it. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just okay. glad to be here with everyone. Um, I also, before we start, I don't know if you guys saw, I'm starting a peer mentorship program. It's free. And what I'm doing is um, all you have to do is submit your information and I'm pairing you up with another artist as like, so you can mentor each other. So like, that was my if, question. Yeah. yeah if um, I didn't know who was the mentor and the mentee. Now that now I understand. Both. You're both. So um, it's like somebody and like I had I had somebody from uh, where was it Berlin? You know, I mean, it's international too, which is really cool. You know, everything's online. So you can, you know, keep in contact through WhatsApp or through email or but it's about like, what's the commitment? How many days? Well, it's up to you. Um, what I'm okay. doing is I'm setting it up for three month periods. So you can talk to your partner, your uh, the other artist and say, you know, how do you want to connect through email, right. through text, you know, it, it could just be like, if you have a question, you know, you're working on a piece of art and you're stuck on something or, hey, how does this look? What do you think? Or, yeah. You know, based on their experience, maybe they've been in a gallery or, Maybe they, um, they are selling online or maybe you're, you like what they're doing on social media. So you can ask them, you know, so each it's back and forth. So, you know, every, I like that. yeah, I has different great. experiences. It's, especially yeah. if it doesn't have to be every day because it's just getting a bit busy now, you know. Oh, yeah. Um, no. And I, yeah. And I've loved everything you've offered us, Christine. Thank you for all the opportunities. I've done eight call and responses, and I've learned something from each and every one I've partnered with. So thanks for that. You're welcome. Um, You're welcome. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would you please post, could you later, if you have a moment, I know you're navigating this, just put the links in the chat. There so you we go. Could... <laughs> okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah, the information's there. Um, and yeah, it's, you can work it out with your artist, you know, once I set you free, that's it, you know, you're on your own, you, have, you, know, you figure it out with your artist, you know, just, you can text each other, email as needed, but it's, so you have like, it, it helps you get out in the art world, meet new people, you never know who they they know, and, um, so far I started peering people up, I have 30 people, or no, they're, uh, 40. I have 40 artists so far. So, um, no, 41 wow. because I have one short <laughs> to pair up. So, um, so apply. But like, I've been going through everybody's website to see like what type of work they have. And, um, and I've been able to like pair people up accordingly. It's actually, I'm like, oh, wait, I think this artist would like this artist. You know, so I'm kind of having fun with that. It's not entirely random. So, um, yeah, and different levels, you know, which is really cool. And so I recommend it. You know, I'm doing it like three months first. 
and you can come and go. And if you want to do it with two or three mentors, you know, two or three pairings, you can. So um, it's not like a deadline type thing. If you apply next week and somebody else does, I'll pair you up, you know. So, um, so keep that in mind. So, um, and if just in case, if you haven't seen the show, um, let me see, which I'm sure you probably all have but I'll put the link in anyway. Um, let's see. Here we go. I normally um, don't really share the screen. Normally there's a lot more people here, um, but actually I can share the screen. I mean, since there's not that many of us, I can go ahead and share the screen and share the work. Since, oh, I, with a lot of people, it could like take forever. <laughs> so no, um, that would, what, whichever way you want to do it, but I'm not seeing anything in the chat for now, um, but I, I'll find it later. Yeah. I, I know you dropped it in, but it's not, sh I don't know. Oh, that's Christine, weird. Christine. Oh, you know something? I know what I did. Oh, Christine? Oh, yeah. Um, I had trouble, and I still have trouble loading in the uh, images in on my iMac. I tried today on the iMac, and I get a lot of, some of the videos, but none of the, oh wait, something's happening here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, it depends it's just, on yeah. the computer. I know a lot of times, like you, if the artist gives me a YouTube video, it loads faster than putting in the MOV file that a lot of people send. But I think it's just like WordPress and the way the MOV files open up. Okay. They're just slower. Yeah. It's like, just like, yeah, it didn't. I had my computer, my iMac on pretty much like for an hour. and <laughs> Oh, <laughs> so gosh. Then, and then the iPad crashed all the other. So I st I'm still not oh, getting no. it. Oh, no. Oh, no, don't worry. No, no, no. no. I mean, it didn't crash, crash. Just, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just turn You know, if, if anybody is technology frustrated, just think about how bad we were almost a year ago. Now we're almost pros. <laughs> No, it's not, you know, it's just, true. It's just, yeah, it's because of all the videos. I mean, the videos do take a yeah, long time. Yeah, yeah. But, but then I'm not getting the images, so whatever. Whatever. Yeah, it, no, yeah it may yeah. depend on the internet, um, the connection, or um, things like that. But I guess we, let's go ahead and start. Um, and is anybody here with their pair to start mm -hmm. off with? Uh-huh. Um, I don't remember who the pairs are, but yeah, I don't see I don't see my partner. Uh, I know I, I emailed her. She was dealing with you know, having to good. evacuate, so uh, I checked in on her, but I hadn't heard I back. So I don't know if she's gonna make things. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> is it Buki yes. then? Yeah, Ibuki is. Yeah. Hi, Ibuki. Hey, hi, Kelly. Hiya. Hi. Um, I hope I have to uh, out on the beach. To do, uh, and getting price on things. Amazing. That's what he does. I don't think you saw it. One. Oh. One o'clock. You're going to see Joe Biden doing yeah. a lot. Okay. Oh, was that Adiola? <laughs> um, yeah, so Ibuki and uh, Carrie, do you want to go first then, since you're both here? Oh, yes, sure. Okay. Sure. Let's see. Let me go ahead and bring it up on the screen. Oh, good. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's see. Yeah, um, that one I got. Let me find you. Oh, there we are. Oh. You know, maybe one day when we get to call and response 20, I'll have a new website. <laughs> These will be easier. <laughs> it's a uh, WordPress. It's it's easy to upload, but it's a pain in the butt. You know how many times I put the caption information? I mean, it's on the image already, and I copied and pasted it in the alt text, in the title, in the caption, and it still didn't show up. I, oh, you, <laughs> I swear. But luckily, like, if it's in a gallery, you can click on it, and, um, and the captions show up, so. Um, that's good. Let me see. Was yeah, it I shared it with friends and family, and they they all saw it and they all enjoyed it and they thought it was fantastic. So oh, good. Over here. Thank you so much for You're that. You're welcome. It, it worked. Uh, so I'm not going to play the videos because that could keep us here forever. 
Yeah. And also, just so everybody knows, I think Biden is going to speak at five. Um, okay. So, oh. Yeah, but we probably won't be here that long anyway. So, no. But um, yeah, Carrie and Abuki, do you want to talk about your experience and themes and what you know, how what you worked on, how it went? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, I had become familiar with Abuki's work through call and response, so. I had an inclination of, you know, her direction and loved her, loved her work. Awesome. So I was thrilled to have an opportunity to collaborate. Yeah, me uh, too. For me, you know, my world has shrunk. It's really shrunk, I think, like everybody else's. And a lot of my life is literally just at the homestead or going to the beach. And, you know, to be able to share that and create with that and to push myself to make small videos. It was a very um, therapeutic dive. <laughs> you know, I felt very energized, Ibuki. Whenever I received anything back from you, I really wanted to push myself again to respond and to call. And I feel like um, collaborating with you opened a new window for me. A window of gifts. Oh, thank my, you. Me too. Yeah. So for me, this this call and response was really based around um, healing, gifts of the planet, gifts of now, and today being one of the biggest gifts of all, hope. So thank you for that. And I look forward to seeing you perform in person. <laughs> In the future. Oh. <laughs> oh, yes. Yes, same here. So uh, personally, um, I was really happy to uh, collaborate with you so because uh, you were living in Santa Barbara. So personally, I really love Santa Barbara. So once a year, I visited Santa Barbara for like a summer season, like a holidays. So I really miss that because of this, uh, you know, pandemic situation, I can't go there. But uh, Kelly, you are living in Santa Barbara, so I can feel you know, the Santa Barbara feeling, you know, I can feel the nature and the seas, beautiful things from your work. So I really love your, uh, this, like, uh, your work, like connecting the natures. Also, I loved, uh, you started the, the shadow, like open the wind, uh, open the door was really triggered me to create uh, this current response. So yeah, also you always uh, using the hand. So uh, I really loved it. So yeah, this time I really enjoy the so the collaboration with you. So thank you so much. So I loved the, the connecting with the nature theme. So yeah, thank you, Christine, Kelly. So I really appreciate. Yeah. Yeah, you're welcome. Mutual. Mutual. You know, the I was thinking about it as I am putting like the the online exhibition together and you know i haven't done it the last couple of times i'm doing it the next time but um i you know one of the things about um about the project it's actually not the end result the end result is cool to see all the work together but it's like when you're in the middle of it when you do get like the response from somebody and you have to think of something and do something and and sometimes it's only like really obvious to you two, you know, and not even when you see it, like when other people see it, not in the same way, you know, maybe aesthetically or conceptually, a lot of people would get it, but it's more personal, you know, to you two. And I think that's the really cool part of it. Definitely. As you know, it's just the process based on what's going on in the world too. You know, um, like I know, you know, a lot of people did use like Halloween themes and in the last one, I think it was all RBG, you know, or not all right. RBG, but, um, you know, or just be, a, you know, Black Lives Matters in June and things like that. So it's, um, yeah, there's just, it is the whole process. It's not even the end result, you know, which is really cool. Mm -hmm. but, um, also, if you, if you allow me, when I see for instance, I work with Ibuki another time, or uh, I work with Anne, and when I see uh, her work with other artists, 
I, I can see uh, like the dialogue. I feel like I'm part of it still. And I can, you know, relate to somebody else's dialoguing because I know her. And I don't know, it's something, something really uh, special happened there also, watching someone you collaborated with and then watching them working with another artist later on. Mm -hmm. So that's mm -hmm. yeah. really fun as well, really mm -hmm. rich, you know? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's great. That's great. Um, so see, let's go ahead and look at yours. <laughs> oh, sure. Sure. Thanks. You're welcome. Well, uh, I don't know if, if Pasha is in. I don't, I don't, I don't think it. so. No. Well, this time um, working with Pasha, it was really, really like, um, like the conversation uh, took, you know, took its time to, to start and then and at some point it really connected, you know, it was, uh, it was a slow process at the beginning to, to feel connected with the other person, like in a relationship. And then when, when, when we get to the middle of the conversation, I felt really fluid and new words came to me by watching her work. And I felt really uh, a, a good vibe and a very, very simple, you know, like uh, very simple and very fluid. So it was really, really nice uh, to work with Pasha and to, to keep on doing this exercise. I feel, I feel like I'm much more confident now uh, because I understand the process of working with another artist yeah. uh, at a distance and just knowing my, my small process, which always changes, right, with, with another new person. But, you know, I, I feel like I know myself a lot more and, you know, it's, it's very, very, very um, profound and, and true uh, growth. So I thank you so much, Christine. I'm so, so happy to, to be part of Call and Response. I, I can't describe it. Really oh, great. you're welcome. You're welcome. I love when you can look at it in like this grid. You know, it's a little bigger here. You can't see it all, but... I love like, you know, you can see the flow, you know, in the work. Yeah, yeah, I and love it. I, yeah. yeah. I, I, when I saw it here and, and the display, it, it also made a lot of sense to me. Uh, 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 see it in the, you know, in the, in the website like this. So yeah, yeah. Thank Good. you so much. Unfortunately, the, um, the video isn't opening, but. Yeah, I know. Um, I know, but it, it doesn't yeah. really matter at the end, so. Yeah. 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 Um, awesome. Well, thank you so much. I'm so glad, you know, that you continue to, to participate, too. <laughs> Great. Um, sure, let's see. So, B and Kayla? Uh, let's see. Who had gone first? I don't remember. Kayla started, so okay. if you want to talk first. They're in talk. alphabetical <laughs> order, so. <laughs> uh, let's Oh, I think, oh wait, every time I do these, I like, I try and put them in a different order to, yeah, give, that's everybody, the answer, yeah, so. um, to get every, give everybody like a chance of being in a different place, but I figured it's probably a little easier to go in alphabetical order. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so tell us about your collaboration. Well, I guess, uh, I guess I'll go first since I started the collaboration. Um, this round was particularly awesome. Uh, I've been doing the call and response since the beginning, since the first round. Um, and this is only the second time that I've actually had like a face-to-face -face, like virtual call with uh, my partner. Um, prior to that, it had always been just emails. And there was, there was still like a connectedness through the emails, um, but I really enjoyed just chatting and like getting to know each other a little bit and talking about like our previous work and kind of where we're at and everything. Um, uh, I was in LA when I, when I started originally in call and response and now I'm back in Florida with my mom. Uh, but right now I'm in West Virginia because I'm on vacation visiting a friend. So, <laughs> um, but I but I made it a point to be here. Um, yeah, this this round was like all over the place in the best possible way. Like like we did like digital collage, we did video art, we did photography, we did writing. Like 
it was, it was a great experience. I was just super inspired and we just bounced off each other really well. And yeah, we were just vibing. It was good. It was very good. <laughs> like digital collage, you did video art, we did photography. It was an echo. Oh, <laughs> oh my. Um, yeah. I <laughs> What I loved um, about this collaboration too is that, you know, we discovered also when in our first conversation that we're both multimedia artists, you know, we're both performers, but we're also digital artists um, of various formats and love playing in all these different mediums. And so um, we just kind of, there was a video, video was kind of the main medium kind of in the middle of the conversation, but it was really fun to kind of um, jump around and try different media depending on what was really resonating. Um, and I think a lot of, a lot of this was about COVID for me. A lot of it had to be the themes of water and themes of death and life and themes of, you know, what does it feel like to be alive in this time? You know, what, what is time also? Like Kayla did a really uh, sped up fast paced thing. And then I responded with something really slow um, and, um, and then there was Kayla did a, a hand washing, you know, like having to wash her hands constantly. And I responded with uh, a mask. And so there was a lot of things about about this time in terms of, of the pandemic. Um, but yeah, it was really fun to just like every time every response was a surprise and something unexpected. And so it was it was nice to kind of shift gears um, with every response and and be really challenged in a good way. Um, I felt very challenged in a, in a fabulous way, in the kind of way that I always, I'd like to be challenged. <laughs> um, so um, yeah, it was a shorter conversation because we take, we took a little bit more time to process um, each other's images and sources and then kind of create something as a response. Um, but I also enjoyed going a little slower in this conversation because I felt like we really went more in depth that way. So yeah, thank you. Great to meet you, Kayla. Great to work with you. And yeah, great to meet you too. This is yeah. wonderful. Yeah, I definitely, uh, I mean, like for me, I was really into, I mean, this round and the last round, I, since I've been at back in my hometown and living with my mom, like a lot of the stuff has been about like this, the new space that I'm in and how strange it is to be back and like how confining it is. So like, a majority of my videos involve either being like filming it in the tiny room that I'm living in right now or like in the backyard or like we're in the middle of renovating my mom's house so there's like random stuff everywhere so I did I recorded some videos of like you know just spinning around the room basically of like all these different pieces of uh, uh, construction stuff around and everything so now it was a it was a really good um, it was a really good way to kind of get out all that stuff I've been feeling. <laughs> and we also chatted in the conversation about um, what what we like to respond to and also the kind of the different options of like, are you responding visually? Are you responding to the title? Are you responding to the thematic content? And kind of opening up all of those possibilities too. And so with every work there was, you know, those choices. So um, I don't know, this was very, this was a lot of fun. <laughs> Agreed. Awesome. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Christine. Oh, you're real. Excuse me, I don't know the format. Questions at the end? No, you can ask. And Karen had a question too, I think. I saw. I just want to know where you are in Florida, Kayla. I know Florida extremely well. Oh, uh, I'm in Port Charlotte, Florida. Oh. <laughs> quiet. Yeah, the, it's quiet I'm, there. It's pretty quiet. It's, it's on the west. nice to be back in the trees. Yeah. You're on, on the, the west Gulf side. Coast. Yeah. <laughs> Just wanted to get a picture. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, yes, please. If you guys have any questions, feel free to, you know, ask. Um, Karen, did you have a question? Uh, yes. Uh, I have not done the, the this exchange at all. I'm kind of peeking through the hole in the fence, trying to see what's going on. And I, so I'm wondering, um, do, how do you exchange the artwork? Is it all through computers or do you, I know that what, what um, you and uh, Beatrice and Kayla are doing is, is digital. So that isn't, the con I don't think it's as complicated to exchange a crafted piece of work. Um, 
but do you work on each other's piece or do you just have a dialogue? I give you this and then you respond. How does it work? I think, well, oh, I think, oh, go ahead, whoever wanted to respond. Oh, I was going to say, I mean, as far as what uh, me and B did, um, we each did separate pieces, but we were just like responding either visually or conceptually to what the other person did. I've noticed that some people will actually like do work on top of other people's work. I've done that in past rounds before too, where I've like printed out a version of someone's painting and like painted on top of it. So it kind of can be anything, you know, as long as you can take a picture of it and upload it to a computer so that you can send it an email, you can basically do just about anything. Like it's very open. Yeah, the way, and you know, I guess I should have at the beginning kind of explained what color response does. I just jumped into it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's like, it's, it's one of those days, so. <laughs> um, well, I'm also late in the game, right? Oh, so, no. <laughs> you know, you don't have to keep going over uh, lesson number 101 just for one person. Don't That's worry, right. Karen, you're not the only one late to the game. Yeah. <laughs> but this is so interesting just catching up and it's inspiring, you know? Oh, good. They, the the artists artist talk to time. All Yeah, it's always great to hear how everybody works together and um, the way it was set up to be is that I pair up artists randomly. So I draw their names, you know, like I'll be drawing artists' names a week from tomorrow. I'm pairing them up, you know, I pull them from a hat basically. And so, um, and you have 24 hours to create a piece of art and send it digitally <laughs> to the next artist. Yeah, that's the whole thing. All of these, I mean, there is give and take, you know, depending, some artists are a little slower, some a little faster. I mean, like I've worked in with artists where like I'd get something back within two hours. <laughs> and then, you know, sometimes we get busy and it's like two or three days, but you can work it out with your artist. So, um, but the idea is you don't have to cr like create work like you normally create. It's because of that time constraint, you know, just like thinking, you know, on the fly creatively. It could Brokies. be a photo, it could be, um, you know, a video outside, it could be a collage, it could be, it could be a painting, it could be, you know, whatever that is in response to your other artist. So, um, and then at the end, they all send me their digital files, and I put them together in the online exhibition. So, but it is about the process. It's about artists supporting each other, about keeping busy during COVID. I started this in March, you know, as soon as we went on mm -hmm. lockdown, my team and I put it together. And so we're, this is round eight, we're going on round nine now. And so it's about once a month, you know, that, that this takes place over a month's time. And um, normally about two weeks, this one was actually almost three weeks. So this was a little longer, but, um, but yeah, they're normally about two weeks, you know, that you work with another artist. So yeah. Does anybody else have any questions about how call and response works or anything like that? Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead. Thank you, Kayla and B. Um, let's see, Randy, do you want to go ahead and talk about, um, I still, I don't think Adrienne is here. I, she doesn't, um, I haven't really seen her at any of the artist talks, but. Um, okay. No, that's okay. I can speak to it. Um, and I think based on my interaction with her, you know, she seems lovely and, um, but is maybe it's a bit of privacy you know i'm not sure i can't I, don't, I it's not a negative it's just respecting wherever we all are in this moment and she was really we had a very nice um we didn't chat too much in, uh, online we just shared our images i can speak for myself that i really responded to her color and um she was doing landscape and um for the you know my for those of you who don't know just for context, my mother died in uh, mid August and I had been taking care of her for many years. Thanks and um, no, it's okay. You know she had a good death, whatever that means. It means that she died from old age, and we were with her and she was loved. So sorry for the segue. Back to the so during the time of her home hospice, I discovered like. 
you know, oh, let me upload this painting of mine into an app and then animate it, you know? So I, I figured out an app that would let me bring them to life and make them like me and you with cognitive thought. These videos that I did for this project were all discovered during this project. They're all made on my phone. I downloaded various apps, some I had to pay for, and some not, nothing too crazy. And then would layer them and created a movie out of them all on my phone, not with iMovie, but through like Video Leap and um, video, um, Pixel Loop and a Splice. And, and it was truly the reason I chose, part of the reason I chose to do this was the influence of Christine Augustine, who's done many call and responses. Yeah. Um, for her love of doing them, her videos, I always say she's one of the most creative people I know because she just seems to be competent in many fields and judges herself as a painter. It's really funny. Um, but back to this. So this was call and response. So this, this was an opportunity to, to say, you know what? I don't know how to use any of these apps. I want to learn how to use them. What, what's going to happen in the middle of the night when I don't sleep? with all this political pressure. And it, so this is where it came from for me. So a lot of my coloring was hers. Um, I, um, we, we stopped short at eight. In, I think we, we missed doing one last image each. I think she does something with the elections. She said, I need to not do one more image. I'm helping and I'm like, great. So my videos are like six seconds to 30 seconds long. Nobody has a, and they're about emotion and cognitive. I know you're not showing the videos if you would, yeah, that one. one's short. Yeah. That one's short and um, just, it, and yeah. So there I took my still painting and I am an, animated her to be a person. And I loaded wow, different filters. Wow, it's so beautiful thank and you, amazing. Maria. Thank you. No, thank you. So just to have this cognitive slash a, a sentient experience. So it's all very new to me. I'm not sure how to exhibit them in A, B, and C, and D, but I'm very grateful for this call and collaborate in a moment after my mom's passing that I need to, to busy my time, busy yeah, my studio whole, practice beyond so my much studio. Too. And the, it's so the, cool that you create something all the time. It's really you know, healing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. and now and thank you, both of you, Mary and Carrie, and I respect so much of what you guys do. So this is what this is, and I have stills from them, and I feel like I have a new world, you know, and they're, they're not meant to be, you know, they're meant to give personality to these images and embellish them and just recreate our experiences, an emotional, a mental experience. We are many people at many different times. But back to Adrian's very calm and um, captivating still lives. They were just very different. They were very grounding. So this one, you know, this one, it's, it, it, it's a tradition of the eye, right? But I think the feel, I hope the feeling is, is um, create some sort of universal experience of what that looks like. So that's it. It was really a pleasure to work with her. She was easy breezy. <laughs> and I look forward to working with more of you. No, cause she was just, we just did it, you know, one and one day and day. When we just were happy to see each other's work. Uh, Randy, can you? Randy, can you put yes. the apps? Somebody else is also asking, can you put the type of apps you're using? Sure, I'll put them in the chat. Yeah, thank you. I'll just list them and, you know, some of them do require a pay or a one-time pay. And after you do the free trial, if you like them, it's worth paying the one-time pay versus, mm -hmm. I did the math on the yearly, you know. <laughs> It's just something to think about if you're gonna keep playing with them. I never, I feel like all of a sudden I'm in the 21st century. I didn't think I was gonna be that person. I'm a <laughs> painter, I draw, you know what I mean? And, and it's my mother's gift to me because it was in her home hospice that I like just said, screw it, here's my phone. Can I do this? You're supposed to upload a person's picture, but what, will it read my painting? Can I make it read my painting? So this is the kind of stuff I've been doing. And, and I still think I have much to learn about how to present them and um, control their video quality because I'm working on my phone on an app and I say, I want to print an image. People don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, some people, I haven't found my place yet. So just thank you. Very thank beautiful. you for the experience and the question. Thank you so, so much. So Randy, <laughs> is this totally new for you? Yes. I, I, so, and so you just, 
jumped right who is, in. Who, I'm sorry, who's asking? Because my, my screen- Karen Schwager, Karen Foyer Schwager. Hi, thank you. Hi. This is totally new for me. I never picked up, I've only been making images on my phone. First, I started animating them um, because a friend recommended an app and the, you know, I started thinking about all these apps. What can I do with filters? I'm not a photographer, but people are uploading faces. So I said, I paint portraits. I paint portraits of unknown people. I paint portraits of emotions and sentient feelings. So if it reads my portrait, if I paint it well enough that it will read it as a face, then I'm golden. And it did. They're three dimensional enough, all that glazing and all that technical painting that I love and I've been fighting for. And, and, that gave, and then I did that. And then, you know, another, Christine said to me, I use Splice. And I'm like, I can add all of these shorts together. I download them to my photos. And it's just become like my phone, you know, when I'm somewhere where I can't bring my studio, my studio's in my pocket. I make a lot of these videos when I can't sleep at night. I, I guess, I'll, I don't know, I lost my mom. There's not a lot, you know, yeah. what can I tell you? It's a but fertile, it, losing somebody is a fertile time for your mind to to sort out things. I, it's hard, but it, you know, it it's is. It's hard. And, and I don't want to take away from everybody. It's a thing. It's a thing. You live yeah. long enough. It happened in the right order. She had a good death. She was an old lady. She, you know, poo, 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 poo. That's all I can say. It's not about that. It's about that. I think for... If I share anything with anybody, be open. Like I'm so, I was so excited by what Kayla and they like drew on each other's work and participated over each other's work. Like, wow, that's trusting. And I love that. You know, let's see what happens. So it's all part of that. That's all. And it's just a moment. And, um, and I'm so happy because the videos are allowing me to do things. So I'm having this thing where I have the painting that inspires the video. And now the video is inspiring the painting. Cool. And I'm in a really beautiful cycle. And that, if that's my mother's gift, I'll take it. The last five years have been a, really about her and about family and about my daughter and who's now going to go, go off to college soon. And we all have these, this is just the life. So I'm just grateful for sharing it with you guys, being able to discover something new. And um, I posted them to YouTube. There are more, I'm wrestling with that. Like, you know, as I learn what to do, do with them because they're on my phone for us to love so maybe another conversation in the future feel free to find me and email me um ways to see them do you want to see them on a building do you want to see them on your phone only do you want to download them as a wallpaper like I, it's not a I, you know i could charge you 40 cents for them you know <laughs> like just to do something right for the fee of being able to host it um i don't know that's it it's just that, like, Christine, you wanted this to be a clean expression with un, un, in, uh, unforced goals. And that's what I re retrieved from this. And I'm just, thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, everybody. The cool thing with these is watching artists who I know, like BB, she also like jumped in and did video. I'm like, where did that come from? <laughs> you know, when you know somebody to be a painter for so long or drawing or you know, to see something new, I, it's inspiring for me. I love it. I think it's great. So very cool. Um, alrighty. If you're just coming on and you want to talk, go ahead and put your name. Um, I, if, even if your partner isn't here, that's okay. Um, put your name in the chat. Um, I have Jeannie and Natasha, Rhiannon, Dellis, and Azam, and Eva Maria. Can uh, I so say something, just sure. respond quickly to Randy. I just wanted to say thank you so much for, for sharing your story and how the, your artistic process and artistic craft has, has been a source for healing and processing for you. Because that's actually a lot of outside of this call and response work, the work that I do is about grief and death and oh, wow. art <laughs> as, as a space. <laughs> but art just as that a, whole as a, watching her go. Sorry, we're not going to get morbid, but it was beautiful and as laborious as birth. Yeah, that's all and, I can and say. Art and artistic practice and art is such a beautiful way to express that and make space for that and communicate that to each other. And so I just, I just wanted to say that. And, Blessings. Yeah. Thank you. We'll talk thank more. You, Rindy. Was, Rindy. I joined you. this. Uh, thank you because it's uh, it's so beautiful. Your story is amazing. Thank you so much.
All right. Um, let's see. I think, oops, no, let me see. Oh, okay. I think I have, and then Anne and Brooke. Um, all right. So Jeannie and Natasha. Hey, everybody. Let's see. Hey, I, I, let, I think you should go first, Natasha. Me? <laughs> I was about to well, say you, you should go first. <laughs> You were number one. I don't know. Do you want to? I mean, I don't mind either way. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> Go ahead. Okay. Well, I oh. mean, yeah, it was, it was delightful to work, um, to work together on this. I mean, um, just, you know, beautiful, inspiring images and they hit at the right time for me because, um, you know, uh, you know, as, you know, as some of you know, just, you know, had some, some personal, you know, family drama stuff going on, um, you know, that, you know, sort of lent itself along with sort of the, you know, political zeitgeist and, and all of that um, to being expressed in a certain way. And, um, you know, it, it was a really lovely pairing and I felt very both connected to it and inspired by it and, it was also um, at one point we joked because I thought, well, you know, this is my fault that we keep getting darker and darker. <laughs> so I tried to make it like move a little bit lighter. And then <laughs> your images were that you were like, well, I don't so much for that. <laughs> so so we so we went we went back to, to where we were. But it was a very cathartic and very lovely um, collaboration. It really was. Um, I just felt, you know, a lot of, of, of energy and appreciation and um, it really gave me a place to express what I was feeling. I mean, several of these call and responses have hit during things that have happened, you know, to me personally that just have been super profound to have this as a wonderful outlet and really brought me back to the whole poetry experience that I haven't done or written, you know, in years and years. And then with, with, you know, photography, I feel like I've, you know, really kind of, you know, I mean, I don't consider myself to be a professional in any way with, with photography as opposed to writing, but I do feel like I've, I've been able to like grow in that area from participating in these, this, this was my seventh participation and I certainly have no intention of stopping with participating. <laughs> Good. Yeah, I definitely think that was a really beautiful pairing and the words from the first poem that you sent was response. I felt like it were kind of my words and um, it was very easy to respond to them through both photography and video and I was um, really happy to put some of those words in the video itself and just narrate your poetry. And that was a, a beautiful experience for me too. I think that I was always interested in how words and text works with images and uh, never kind of had the bravery and also just an opportunity to go into something like that. And um, having this, beautiful moment of where the words and the images work together and feed off of each other and like string into something beautiful. Um, that was amazing. And it was just definitely a pleasure to have that collaboration and have that experience. Um, and definitely did go kind of in a darker route, <laughs> probably. And I thought it was my fault because I was keeping going darker in the photographs. So I felt like it's and then you send this kind of slightly lighter text and, and I was really struggling to create a lighter image too. And like, I guess we're just not, it's just not a place where we're at right now. It's just not going that way. So we can't force it. So we just went back into our kind of melancholic um, space. I don't think it was dark in a bad sense. I think it was dark in a, in a self-reflective sense. And it's, it's not a bad place to be necessarily. So um, I know, I think it was, it was really beautiful. I know I keep saying beautiful for like second, third, fifth <laughs> time already, but <laughs> it was a really beautiful experience for me. So thanks Jeannie and thanks Christine for making this possible again.
You're welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. I, I have to say again, I, you know, I, I would echo that. It really was a beautiful experience working with you. And like I said, both both cathartic and renewing and just a really lovely, almost, almost sort of like spiritual, you know, thing. I agree. I definitely yeah. agree with that. Yeah, very true. So I, I loved it. I loved it. And, it. and it is true. I don't think that I don't think it was a bad thing. To, to, I just felt, I felt bad because I was like, oh God, I'm leading you down this very dark place. Like I need to lighten up. So it was, it was just really nice. It was just really wonderful. I really, really enjoyed it very much. So, and again, and of course, tons of thanks to you, Christine, as all of us for this. It's just a gift. It really You're is. You're welcome. Yeah. Um, just in case I put the link again um, for the exhibition in chat, if you want to follow along on your computer. And then I also, if you came late, I put a link for my peer mentorship program, uh, which is free, where I'm pairing up artists to mentor each other. So, and if you have questions, you can follow the link. And I talked about it a little bit earlier, but I wanted to make sure everybody saw that. So, um, alrighty. So we have Rhiannon. Let me see. I who think my, um, my partner showed up. Oh, who, who is your partner? I'm sorry. Joanne. Oh, yes, yes. And who went first? Joanne, are you there? Yes, I'm here. Yep. Yay. All right. So um, she was first. She was number one. Okay. Oh, there we go. Perfect. I think. Uh, all right. Go for it. Who wants so to we start, Rhiannon? <laughs> I think, Joanne, you start because you were first. Okay. So um, I, the week before we started this, I was like, what am I going to do if I get called first? And I, I needed something to kind of like <laughs> give me inspiration. So I ordered some uh, iridescent watercolor paints, which I've never worked with. And I didn't get them on time to start on Monday. But so I just started working with watercolors and, and uh, added some acrylics. And I had this favorite picture of a hibiscus I made. And um, uh, I took of something at a farmer's market and I, I told, I let Rihanna know, I, I just, I need to kind of play with you because it's so stressful with the uh, election and, and just everything going on. So I'm just like, I, I'm going to be kind of like iridescent colors, <laughs> you know, playing with fun stuff. So, uh, so I started out with that uh, three different, uh, like a photo I took, and then I did it in watercolor, and then I, I took another picture of it with the um, <laughs> with uh, acrylic on it. So then, and then, then Rihanna did some fun stuff back, which was awesome. You know, we kept that flow going really nice. And if you go back a little, Christine, you'll see Rihanna. She's got the one with the green background with the flowers. Yeah, yeah. Um, oh, go ahead, Rihanna, if you want to. Or, you know, how did it, um, you know, for the both of you, um, I'm just kind of going through, we won't have time to talk about each image individually, but, um, you know, what was the, for both of you, like, was there a theme or, a, you know, some, like a, um, or ideas that were sparked as you continued on? Um, well, first, thank you very much for including me. Um, I'm from Niagara Falls, Canada. So I, it's been very interesting for me to take part. This is my third one. And um, always uh, my partners seem to uh, take on a, a little bit of whatever is going on over there uh, <laughs> and put it into their work. So it's pretty interesting. And uh, like I find, like I am, I am a full-time student and I'm working and I'm volunteering. And so I quickly found out that Joanne wasn't, working and she did she had a lot more time than I did which at first was a little intimidating because I was like oh crap right like I don't know I have 30 minutes to work on this and it's gonna get to you at 12 o'clock sorry right so um that's kind of how we started and then it got into like a like a bit of a conversation after a while of back and forth and I think it really like it went in very different directions um especially uh, by Joanne's third one where she put uh, a constellation, a, a lizard shape in a constellation. After that, it was like, okay, anything goes. Yeah. Uh, so it was really fun. 
Yeah, it became, I started trying to, because she was doing stuff faster and I was like getting too anal. I was like, I gotta do this faster. <laughs> but I'm like, just get a little looser because I realized I could like spend hours like doing the drawing and I'm doing the cream. And I was like, I'm gonna get this to her. I'm like, wow. <laughs> but it was really cool because, uh, you know, it helped me explore more. I was like, When you look at it this way also, you can see the evolution, you know, together. Yeah. yeah. And there's one where she took her train and put it in my woods. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I flipped it. <laughs> yeah. Because the, the way the lighting looked, it was like, oh, I got to flip it and put it in there. And it was fun. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I liked that her stuff was real fast and loose because I could... You know, I really liked her gold leaf and the one down there in the bottom left. And it was like, my iridescence wasn't quite showing up as much in my photos of sharing my artwork. So just seeing that like zap there of the gold is like, oh, I wish mine looked like that. You know, it's like inspiring. Like, I can get a little more heavier handed with that in some ways, you know. Yeah, so this is, you can see too that it's my, um sort of my art journal that I'm working with and she had asked me are you going to crop out the, the spirals and I was like no because this is like my fast and loose sort of practice here a uh, chance to maybe um, do something and then later on expand on it so my goal was a little bit different from her so it made a really unique like pairing of uh, and then the outcome was really good too so I'm happy that I participated in this one yeah. oh, great and even like I, I keep noticing more, Rhiannon, because like your piece where you did the um, with the tr the gold trees and there's like a little gold dot above it. I realized in mine, I'm like, oh, in my leaf, I've got like circles like that were like your gold dot there, <laughs> you know, and like the colors. You can see some of my colors and that are in hers. So it was like, it was it was neat to like see like the things flowing back and forth there a bit. And then I loved how she ended with so I had the the leaf dropped you know in the water and i tried to kind of take the shapes of her she i didn't realize her her was a um what kind of car is that again a box cart <laughs> box car yeah i didn't realize it was a box car i probably would have made mine look more like a train with like wheels or something so i made it just look like a house and then so then then the, she did the 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 um the really nice wet and wet painting there at the end with the tree and, and like that mist and it was like oh wow that's awesome you know Oh, great. It's a, a beautiful collaboration. Thank you. Yeah, Thanks, Rhiannon. You, you kept me going while all this crap was going on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you both so much. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. You're welcome. I just want to say that you guys really work together, and that, that's fun to see. You know, also, material, materially, you know. And Jeannie is also like, but thank you. Um, all righty, Dallas, I think. Yep, Dallas, let's see. And I think you're, you went first. I don't know, is Susanna here? Yes, I went first again. <laughs> I did, you know, I did, I do try and like mix it up depending on who, like if you went first the last time or I try. Did you, but you didn't participate last time though, did yes, you? I did, but I didn't, I wasn't at the, um, at the top. Oh, that's what it was. That's what it was. And hi, Maria. I'm sorry I wasn't here for you last time, but I. Yeah, how so they, hi. I'm, I'm glad to see you. With you. <laughs> 
So um, Susanna was, uh, she was such a joy to work with. Uh, it was different than um, my other partners because um, she actually w uh, shared how she was interpreting it. So the first one she said, it reminded me of a staircase. So she did the staircase in the water. You know, so she was telling me uh, what it was that she was feeling and, and how she was responding. Um, so I'm like, okay, <laughs> that's fine. <laughs> we'll go with that. Um, so uh, it, was, it was really fun playing off of, of um, what she was saying, wh which element she was pulling out of the piece. So she was dealing with water. So this was a water piece. And then she did fire and ice, you know. So it was a real um, back and forth and evolving from more of, you know, her perception and what she was feeling and what she was taking out of it. And then I just responded to that. You know, this was her colors of life. And then I did, you know, living colors, uh, a paint pour. So, um, and I kind of mix it up because I, I really do uh, fiber art, fiber sculptures. Um, this is my cosmopolitan comb. It's, you know, her comb. Um, so I was, I was actually happy to be able to make something quickly enough so that I can, you know, have a turnaround. We didn't get to do a lot of them because she had a fire. So apparently this, she, she, the reason she did the ostrich was because of the stand that the comb was on. <laughs> So yeah, it like, reminded her of an ostrich, and I guess the poofiness. So she did. It. I'm like, okay, um, interesting. So then I, you know, I did a plume, um, and from the plume, she did a, a fascinator, and then I did a fascinator. So um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love skulls. I I don't know why, but that's that was my fascinator. So it was it, it was different than all of my other ones, and I really appreciated it. Working with her was a lot of fun, um, and it it does push you to do you know more uh, out of the box thinking and trying to understand what the other artist is kind of getting from it, and you know and then moving on and interpreting and then doing your response to that. So again, uh, Christine, thank you for this because you know it does. Um, it kind of makes you, you know, do art, you know, even. <laughs> oh, you muted yourself, see it, Nellis. Oops, somehow you got muted. Uh oh, sorry. Oh, I, my dog, sorry, her oh. little leg. <laughs> I didn't hear what you said, Christine. <laughs> oh, I didn't say anything except for you muted yourself. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. She, she's up here. Oh. And her little legs. <laughs> Oh, funny. But again, um, and I appreciate that because I, I even have a shirt that says, you know, create every day. And it doesn't have to be actually production. You know, I mean, even if you're just conceptualizing, you need to do it every day. So this helps me to do that. And I appreciate that. So I, I guess I will continue on because it, it does really help. And I really enjoy <laughs> meeting other artists and working with, with others and, um, you know, just seeing their take on things. Awesome. Awesome. Um, I think, Joanne, did you have a question? Yeah, um, I know Susanna. And, uh, and so I went to look at your collaboration uh, earlier today or yesterday and I was uh -huh. like wow this is cool I totally got how she went from your your cone to the ostrich I was like oh that's totally fun yeah, so I, yeah. I, I really like, loved looking yeah, at the, I, the, I, the I am doing a cone from her cone yeah. and she, takes <laughs> off, she she zeroes in on the the legs the yeah. and oh I loved God. your cone Dallas that that's beautiful oh, it's like you. look at that <laughs> art there that's awesome Looks like it. I mean, it looks like you just put that in a gallery right away. It's awesome. <laughs> oh, sure. Hey, yeah. You got an opening? <laughs> <laughs> Talk to Christine. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. <laughs> an awesome job, both of you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you so much, Dallas. Okay. <laughs> uh, let's see. So, if just in case, if you just came on, I know a couple of people did. Um, and you want to talk about your work, your collaboration, and put your name in the chat. Um, I have Azam and Eva Marie and then Anne and Brooke um, next. 
So let's see, I think as well, or oh yeah, Eva Maria and Zon, or and as well, are next. Is Eva Marie here? Yes, I am. Yeah. Oh, hi, Eva. Go ahead, hi. please. Pardon me? I said, go ahead, you started first. Oh, okay, thank yeah. Thank, thank you. Hi, everybody. This is my first time actually meeting with everybody, but it's about the fourth time that I've been a participating Hi. artist in this venture. So thank you, Christine, and all you. It's exciting. I've been kind of out of the creative world for baby time. <laughs> so I'm trying to dip my toes back into it. So I'm a little kind of unsure of myself still. So thank you. My first piece that I wanted to give to Azam was, um, I actually am one person who likes to research other people. <laughs> so I looked up her work and her work is absolutely gorgeous, which did intimidate me at first because her work is very breathtaking and it, it emotes a lot of feeling and texture for me because I like abstract work, even though I'm a photographer. So I responded with a close-up of, um, or I gave her a piece of a close-up of a peony that had, I sprayed it with water. Beautiful. And then it looks like you kept, you kept going with a nature theme. We did, and when I did that one um, shot that I did with a model wrapped in fabric, I brought, I printed it in black and white, and then I added grape leaves on top of it to kind of respond and pick up the texture of her peach with the peach leaves. So I guess like the breast for me were to be kind of a little bit of like a, a peach or like a, it's a female symbol to me. And when I used to do a lot of my artwork back in my art school days, it was very motivated by the female form and a lot of times kind of poked at the political standings or where women stood in the world. So I was kind of trying to pull back into that kind of feel, but leave nature there as well. Yeah, it does. Your, both of your collaborations really does have kind of a feminist theme to it. <laughs> yeah, I, I saw that, but then we went back into, I think more <laughs> feeling off each other with color and texture. So Azim, do you wanna? Yeah, yeah. So um, thank you, uh, Christine. This I've been doing this for I think four or five times uh, uh, by least. now. At yeah, least. at least. And um, every time I have a wonderful experience. And this time, um, you know, from the beginning uh, of the collaboration uh, when we started the call and response, I decided this would be a learning process for me to use the photos that I take and just kind of going to Photoshop and learn Photoshop more and more to see what I can do. And this time, uh, Eva Marie kind of pushed me uh, to, to go even beyond what I thought I would uh, do. At the beginning, it was just like, okay, she gave me a flower. I'm going to give her something, you know, like a nature organic. So I, I gave her the, uh, the leaf. And then I started responding to one of the elements that she had, something would pop and I would respond to that. So when she gave me the grapes, I gave her the peach. And then when she did the black and white and the grapes, it was like she pushed me to my you know, days that I would do feminist work. And I responded to that piece by creating this shape or this image that would go more feminine. And then, you know, just kind of every time she would give me something, it, it would, I would respond to it, to one of the elements that I would see. And also use the Photoshop to manipulate the image so it would not be as recognizable. Uh, and I, I really enjoyed this and then, you know, it got to a point that after the uh, tomato that you see and the, mm -hmm. I think it's the crane uh, or the butterfly, that we went into feeding off of each other from color. 
and it, it was, I really enjoyed this one uh, very much. And, um, you know, like the one that you see in the right before the cherries or, you know, the, the one, yes, that is actually the, uh, the fish, the, what do you call it? The, the, um, Was it the, the scales? Not the scales, the thing that the fish, um, the gales. Oh, the gills. Yeah. yeah, and it the color of that was bright that I uh, bright red that it just I pulled it from uh, her previous painting. I mean, um, image that she had given me. So you know, it was really fun, and I'm looking forward to the next one. Awesome! Yeah, it's another beautiful collaboration. You could definitely see the through line, you know, in your thought process and playing off of each other. Yes, I enjoyed it yes. very much. Thank you. I did as well. Thank you. Thank you. I loved it. And I was so excited that you were trying something new, Azam. Yes, yes. I, I, I'm, I'm at that stage that I need to push the boundaries and get out of my comfort zone. So all of this is I'm thinking about how I can, because I'm a painter, I'm painting right now. I've done sculpture. So I'm thinking about how I can co combine all of these into something new. Uh, and, you know, just waiting to see where it takes me. Oh, good, good, awesome. All right, um, so Anne, let me see. And Anne, who is your partner? Are they here or, oh, it was Sanji, I think? Sanji, yeah, yeah. Sanji. I never did get her pronunciation of her name. <laughs> She, um, she's very interesting. She lives in Great Britain, the oh, United Kingdom. I didn't know and, that. Um, yeah, I didn't know that until she sent me an email. Yeah, she lives in the United Kingdom, and my dad's from the United Kingdom. He's from Britain. But that being said, she's a muralist, and um, I just lost the images. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. sorry. I was getting the link. Uh, Randy, I'll post, or uh, who wanted that? Oh, Randy, she had posted in chat. Um, I'll post it at the end. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Sorry well, about that. Anne. Right, just had it open. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. You know, our president is going to be speaking soon, so I'm not going to be long on this. But we had a lot of fun. It was. She sent me this image. She was first, and then um, it reminded me of Mook, and so I put my this my little granddaughter. I always use her, <laughs> and my son made the mask, and uh, yeah, so I did that. And then we just got on like a Halloween. She definitely is a muralist. And then I took that, broke that apart. And then if, if you keep going, and she sent this and I added to it. I painted a mask out of uh, palm palms. And then we did cats. <laughs> and um, yeah, she sent, again, We it was whimsical. We just had a lot of fun going back and forth. And I think um, there's a couple of like, I tried to do a video, but it, it's not working on the, on the thing, so. Yeah. Oh, oh, here. Let's see. Yeah, I couldn't get it to work. Oh, there it is. It's working. And I've been using bizarre art just to create images. And so then I did this, and then she sent me a sun and a moon. And yeah, it's the next one. And then oh, I, we kept going with this. Oh, there. Then she did that, and I thought it was very mural like. And this one I couldn't get to work on mine, but oh, yeah. And it does have sound. So I did this video on. Um, iMovie and again the grandkids can I say <laughs> and then my son created this uh this Halloween image um in his yard so then I just kind of went bizarre and that's him in the upper corner that's oh, Michael and, <laughs> looking at his creation and torturing his children and then um she sent me the little bee with who was dead and she we just had fun she just we kept pulling things out of each other's art and just creating these little whimsical cat kind of figures. And uh, yeah, I want, I would love to meet her. I was hoping she would be here today and she isn't. And it's kind of sad because I really wanted to kind of meet her and see what she's like, but we had a lot of fun. It, it was just like so fun. It. Yeah, it was fun. And, and we just did all these like little scary things for Halloween <laughs> and yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. Looks like you had a great time. 
<laughs> we had a great, uh, it really, all of this has been, uh, every session has been just marvelous, Christine. And, and I thank you as, as you deserve a pat on the back and uh, whatever, <laughs> virtual hug. Thank you so much for doing what you do because it just keeps us going. Yeah, you're really welcome. Good. You're welcome. Yay, Biden! Yay, Kamala! <laughs> and aren't they talking at five? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So yeah. we still have time. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and just in case, so let's see. I have Brooke next. Um, if you want to talk, put your name in chat, and I'll put you down on the list. So um, we have Brooke, and then nobody else is signed up after that. So let me know. Um, and let's see, Brooke. I think it was you and Kat, and you're towards the top. So let's see. Yeah. Oh. oh, there we go. Are you there, Brooke? Yes. Oh, okay. hi. Okay. <laughs> uh, so I started, and Kat's not here, sadly. I would like to have seen her talk here, but um, I think I disappointed her with my opening <laughs> image. Okay. A little bit. It was a little too sweet and sentimental for her. It's but I, I have three kids and I rarely get time to paint. So and the, just a few years ago, this lady had inspired me to paint. I quit for like 20 years, and um, this is her granddaughter and her cat, and Aww. she wanted me to. Paint. And it's it was a, I thought well here's a chance to paint it. I'm starting off, and I'd said that already to myself. I start. I'm doing that painting because you know and it's for her and she deserves it for inspiring me to paint again but um and so Kat kind of didn't know where to go with it <laughs> and I told her the reason for the story and so then she was able to come up with a poem that fits more the story behind the painting rather than the painting itself because it was just too sentimental or cheesy or whatever but um so then I um was thinking about the full circle and, and love creating love and I was thinking about the Black my Black Lives Matter movement and my friend Regina, who's a African American uh, fashion designer, and um, I just thought she's fed up right now. I see her posts all the time on Facebook, and she's just fed the fuck up. <laughs> Excuse my French, sorry. <laughs> and so <laughs> I said, I was just like, let me just take it there, you know. And um, I think that that got her juices going a little bit more for <laughs> for inspiration and motivation and. Um, so uh, she talks about lifting higher, soft response, still waiting, perfect title for the poem, um, yeah. you know, and the burning world. And of course that led on to my next one, which was the starving man, which is, you know, the burning world. I mean, you can take that in so many ways, in so many places. It's, you know, the starving people in Africa, people starving everywhere all over the world, the COVID virus, the, everything is on fire and drought. And, and I wanted to include that little Dandelion of hope, I call it. <laughs> That's my little uh, dandelion of hope. Um, and uh, she took it as a refugee painting, which I can see why. Um, and um, her response to that, I guess, led me to uh, do refugees on the boat. So um, I was, I have some, I, I was lived in the UK for a long time, and I have friends that are in the UK, and they have, you know, all these refugees arriving on boats. And I have a friend who was. Um, one of the Vietnam Vietnamese boat people when he was a little boy and he lived for six weeks aboard a boat um, and the stories he told me were horrific um, and so I just decided to try and paint that reality to bring that a little bit more into the awareness of the world and um, you know she's in the souls chasing the freedom and then I decided to take it a little bit closer to home instead of just these 400 some odd tiny dots that are people um, here's, you know, a mother and her child that are actually there, you know, to be to look at and see the anguish and the pain and the child who's starving and exhausted and, um, and then she's, you know, uh, she had initially titled this Refugee Realities and she changed it right at the end. But yeah, you can see the, the, just like that screaming and anguish and that, you know, the stricken gaze that she said is just haunting you, you know, um, and yeah. it, it all of these are from all of mine. They're from all over the world. These are people, these boys are, um, I, I sourced an image um, for refugees. I think this was in Argentina and they're street children. And so these were, I moved from refugees to homeless people. And these were two brothers that were homeless on the streets, starving. 
in Argentina and I just wanted to bring that reality into life, you know. Um, and then she said um, that begging for a chance, you know, it made me think about people not, um, not responding, not offering the chances. And it got me thinking about, um, you know, Western culture and how we overindulge so much. And I specifically, um, she had an issue with this one because she said, well, maybe he's, he's eating his feelings. And, and she did respond that way. And I, I did explain to her, I said, I specifically focused in on the face because I didn't want it to be about body image. We're all guilty of overeating. We're all guilty of overindulging in the Western world. And we take that for granted. And we don't, you know? So um, I just, and then that moves to the empathy for you. And she, she went through it. And I said, it can be, he can be the starving man. He's starving for attention. He's starving for, you know, some sort of love. And maybe that's why he's eating his feelings in that sense. Um, but I wanted to take it back in the end to the, to the apathy of the world. And so that leaves with the guy who's watching his, the TV and his ride home, LA, mm -hmm. you know, and right back to the cat <laughs> in the beginning, um, <laughs> eating his leftover takeout that he doesn't care about. He doesn't need it, you know, but here's this guy on the street that's starving. So, and then, she, you know, her poem reflected that, that the sad prisoner, you know, turn the channel. Don't watch this. It was a powerful, powerful collaboration. Yeah. And yeah. Deep and yeah. We almost quit halfway through. <laughs> she was really ill and I just, oh, you no. know. Yeah, and yeah, it was, but it was good. I'm glad she hung in there and we took, I think, a, a three days off or something, but. <laughs> You know, I mean, the one thing about, oh, I'm sorry. What were you saying? No, I, I was going to say, I learned a lot from her. She's, um, uh, I think she's 71. And oh, she's wow. had a lot of experience in the art world. And me, I'm here with zero, you know, like I've never had a show. I've never done anything, you know. And so she was passing a lot of information on to me, which was really cool. And um, she was, uh, she was feeling excited about the paintings, vice versa. So there was a good trade-off. She was excited about the poetry that came out, which was amazing. So, yeah. Oh, good. Um, oh, now I don't remember what I was going to say. Oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, no, that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> um, awesome. Well, thank you so much. It was a great collaboration. Um, let's see, and we have Stacy. And sorry, Stacy, I missed your name earlier. Uh, let's see. I think your trip's the Bottom. That's okay. There was plenty of chat happening, so it was <laughs> easy to easy to miss. <laughs> gotcha. And I think these are yours. Let's see. Yeah. Yes, that's ours. And I, is Maureen here? I don't think I saw her. Maureen story. is not here. No. There, there right. we go. So I had so much fun and I just once again want to thank you like everyone has been for um, for putting this together and uh, I'm so glad to have this is my second time I started in round seven so and I'm signed up for round nine because I love it so much <laughs> and uh, our um, our collaboration was really very uh, was was minimal it was just sort of a sending work back and forth kind of thing with with little uh communication aside from here's my here's my piece for today <laughs> and an occasional i oh, love it cool <laughs> so uh, we, but it was really fun the um this um for for me was uh, I had a, a much more conceptual feeling because I took the idea of collaboration at a distance and brought in another piece of collaboration because uh, all but a, all but one of my um, my videos were actually from either videos or photos that I took through someone else in another part of the world holding a camera. And I projected their image onto a 13 foot screen in my living room and then either photographed or videoed the image that was being projected. So um, cool. some of this was done through um, Amazon Explore, which is a new virtual travel service that they have. 
so this one, like for example, the one that, that's that you see right now is um, that's in Tokyo. That's the um, the uh, the Prada building in Tokyo. I did an architecture tour of Tokyo, <laughs> so I kept telling the guy, I was like, okay, stop. I want to, you know, and I was just like, stand there. Okay, go over here, <laughs> so I could get so I could get the angles that I wanted. So it was really uh, it was a really fun thing to do. And so then Maureen would um, would play off of, of you know off of what I sent, and uh, finally toward the toward the end, I think the I, that's again Tokyo. I had there were a couple of things I did were t a temple in Kyoto, and um, that's Tokyo as well. Uh, th then um, let's see, what, uh, that's uh, in uh, Taipei. That's a, a koi pond in, in, uh, at a, a temple in Taipei, uh, and I just it, most of the most of the things I did I did this sort of endless uh, like a recurring loop with the text so that it would just repeat over and over again these little 15 second videos on uh, on Instagram, and then uh, it was. It was fun and it was an adventure. And then toward the end, after I got this piece, I was kind of debating. I almost sent a video that I had taken in the Grand Canyon, but instead it was, I, I took a video of, of my assistant dropping my ballot in the ballot box <laughs> <laughs> because it just seemed to be more important for the time. And, um, and and uh, Maureen responded with her, her own uh, voting related uh, <laughs> piece, <laughs> and then the finally uh, at, the, at the end it was an interesting story because after she sent me the uh, the voting piece and I asked her you know I responded it was that was her last piece and I said well are you going to be at the reception and she said no she said I'm going to the Grand Canyon. <laughs> <laughs> and I said, that's really funny because I almost posted a Grand Canyon video yesterday. And she said, well, you can tell them at the reception that you're, what did, let's see, I have a, I have a quote from her that she said, uh, it's funny, there were a couple of times I debated which piece to send because your work opened up several different possibilities. In case I don't make it to the Zoom call, you're welcome to share my comments. <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> <laughs> so I ended it with my Grand Canyon in response, and that is where Maureen is right now, and why she's not joining us. But you can you can see her photos of the Grand Canyon on her Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> wow, that that's awesome! What is the app that you used? Amazon Express. Amazon Explore is if you go to Amazon.com/explore, it's a it's a new beta program that they have it's a virtual travel service so basically in response to the pandemic all these people who are travel guides who who actually do private tours when you go visit different places uh they they do they're still doing tours they just do it they walk around and they have a steady cam device and walk around with their camera and give a tour as though you were there in person and it's just you and the person and you have it you, you can talk to them and some of them are, you know, just uh, looking at the the cultural spots or the, you know the architecture tours or whatever. Some of them are shopping tours where you they actually go into local markets and you can buy things and converse with the you know the market owner and, and things like that. And then some of them are how tos where you like learn how to make an Australian breakfast from a chef in Australia. <laughs> so. I did all the, the ones that I did were all, you know, uh, sort of cultural and sightseeing ones because I was more interested in the imagery. Uh, but it was a really uh, fascinating and interesting, uh, fun thing to do and to bring, I mean, it's like the, you know, meta of collaboration at a distance. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so, totally. <laughs> so I had a really good time with it. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> well, thank you so much. Great collaboration. Uh, let's see. So I have Adiola, and I think we're. Let's see. Who was your partner, Adiola? Um, oh yeah, Holly. But I don't think Holly is here. Yeah, I I didn't see her. I've been looking all along, and I don't think she's here. Let's see. Where are you? Oh. 
Oh, there we go. Yes. All right. Uh, first of all, thank you again for doing this. And I have participated in every one of them. And each one is enjoyable, uniquely enjoyable uh, with each partner that I've worked with. Uh, this time around, uh, my partner is Holly. And um, I got it. <laughs> and um, so she started well, with the call and did a, a watercolor. And then I responded um, because she put the, uh, the flower. So I responded with the resilience and the, uh, uh, no, the coat. And I, and I told her that I wanted to do um, animation or, or some type of video. So um, she said, that's fine. So we, we, we went from uh, things are happening, so I tend to uh, respond. So this one was around the uh, Black Lives Matters that um, I did. But I look at some of the things that she puts in a composition. So when she did the one with the uh, watch and uh, the log, uh, it made me, when in my studio, when I had these uh, old um, uh, parts of a uh, of, uh, watch that I, been hanging on to, and that becomes part of my um, uh, uh, piece to respond to what uh, she did. And uh, did a video um, on that one using the, some of the element that she had in a picture that she sent me uh, with that. Very cool. I love the heart motif throughout. Yes, and then she responded back with these and she does uh, very unique things, you know, different elements. Sometimes she put them together, uh, like a collage in one picture, or she would do several different pictures. So on this one, she did it, uh, uh, this was a stone painted with art. So I went in and I had done a series in one of the previous one of the different art shapes and stuff. Yeah. So I had a, a series of that. And since we're working with nature, so we this 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 time around everything was a, a lot nature based, uh, things outdoor. So I went in and took the those uh, paintings and sent them out. And uh, part of it uh, had a watering. I, I I was hosing down the painting and uh, videotaping the piece and then put it together uh, and. Uh, as a response to what she did when she did the, uh, the stone. Oh, cool. And then she came back uh, with these, uh, with the, with the uh, a, a, a painting or collage, which has, uh, I think that's, uh, if I remember, that's supposed to be a picture of her mom uh, that she had in that. And B, so I saw B, I was gonna do something else. Uh, but then when I saw B, that, that got me thinking. And then I think I responded because I had gone out and um, I can't remember what I did. Okay. Oh, that, then I responded with the, uh, with, the, with the roses and the ants because she had the flower. So I went in my garden and started to do a video shoot of, a video shot of, of, the, of the roses that are still blooming and then it was interesting, some of the roses that were dying, there was a lot of ants that were all over them. So I captured that and then put it together and, and <laughs> sent it to her. So, so we were bouncing back with the things. So the next one she did was that she did a painting and she was an, a close up of the ants with the flower of the roses. So, and, um, and then uh, I was going out and this one was the one I went out to um, the botanical garden and saw uh, the bees, since we're focusing on nature and the elements of nature, uh, and um, I just went with this one. So it was a little bit uh, deviation from what uh, she did. And then she wrote me back like, oh, I love bees. And then she's like, oh, I love this, especially when the art shape forms around the bees in the video. Uh, when you, if you watch the video, there's a little thing where it, it forms. And, and then she says, oh, I have to do it. Uh, a painting, or, or, uh, so she did a watercolor of the, the bee. So it was a good response this time around because we tend to kind of follow each other more. So, you know, uh, doing things. I can't remember when I did the bees and then she responded with the watercolor uh, and I, can't, I don't remember what I did to respond back to that. 
and that the one right above that okay that was the goddess oh yeah okay yeah so so sometimes i switch out a little bit of the theme based on but i still make sure that it's nature uh, uh, bound in terms of going out outside so this time she really makes me go outside so and the funnest thing is once I know that we're doing things nature-based, so anytime I'm outside since we're quarantined and if I get a chance to go out and things like that, I'm looking for things in nature and capturing those things and sometimes hoping that I'll use it. And sometimes I do use it, sometimes not, but it should allow me to be able to focus more on that. Um, and then uh, this was, uh, she did something of the, of, of, uh, I think it was a, uh, a portrait uh, of, uh, I, I don't know who that was, but she did portraits and she did two different ones. And then I did, did a little video to kind of, uh, I see when I look at that portrait, I see more of a goddess, uh, the divine feminine. So, um, and that was that. And then she came back and did a, fo uh, a photo shoot with the goddess uh, pose, which was real lovely. Uh, uh, hugging the trees, you know, with, with this quarantine time, and uh, and most of us sometimes, if you don't have anyone living with you, uh, it is okay to go out and hug the trees. Uh, so, and then uh, I think this last one is she loves she loves uh, trees and always, and it's something that I've always loved. So this is just elements of different trees in nature. And, uh, what a fun collaboration. Yeah, it was. I wish she was here today, but you know, uh, but uh, I, I truly enjoyed it. Uh, it was nice. We kept the theme, even though it was fluid and, and we were responding more to each of the things uh, and it makes it, um, it makes it enjoyable. So I truly, truly enjoyed this. Uh, and I'm looking forward to round nine. Yay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> All the way to ten. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah. yeah, we're still going. <laughs> awesome. well, thank you. So thank you very much, uh, Christine. Uh, You're welcome. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. Uh, let's see. So we have Susan and oh, Susan. Uh, Alex is. I don't think Alex was here though. So is your partner? I don't think she is. Yeah. Let's see. But she was fun. Oh, good, good. Yeah. Here's all of yours and I'll just kind of yeah. go through. So how was it for you? What was there? A I, I have fun. I mean, oh, it, was, it was quirky. Um, Alex uh, seemed like she was real young and um, she, and so, uh, but you know, just out of school and she, um, of college and wants to be a high school art teacher and I, I mean, so, so anyway, go back. So, so we had fun and I'll just tell you, it was, so she did this one and um, I wasn't, I didn't really, you know, that was the first image. So I just decided to take the texture of the, the grid of the texture of the fabric or whatever it was. I, it was hard to decipher what it was, sort of mysterious. And um, I thought it might be a solar flare. And then, um, and then she did this and she sent me a note um, saying that she had a hard time with the grid. And, um, but I cracked up at the collage, you know, <laughs> and um, so I cracked up like I, I started crying <laughs> and laughing at the same time. And um, I was like, you know, for me, this is a little bit more desperate, than that, <laughs> you know, and um, so I did this one, which is a very is a very good art, but it was really expressively adequate for me to just kind of try to break out mentally from uh, quarantine. And then she did this, which I just love. <laughs> uh, fingers crossed. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's why I mean it was quirky. So then I took the the grid, the square, and just like uh, handed it back to her, made it really small, you know, like much smaller. It started out like it was the whole thing. I love that. And then she took this, and I was like, I didn't know what to make of it at first because it's, and then I decided it wasn't a very positive image because she's going to drop it on the cows and it was radiating. Um, so I had, <laughs> it was quirky. So I um, decided to just focus on some of the grass in the pasture and just have it have been like exploded like a balloon or something and just uh, kind of uh, land in the weeds and not really hurt anything. Um, and then she did this wonderful image. Um, out of that, which was, I think, pretty moving for me. Yeah. Um, and, um, oh, I, so I did this, which was kind of a stretch for me. I really did kind of, I mean, I stuck with the painting because I'm really trying to learn to paint at my ripe old age. But um, so I took a, a photograph of a scarf on the same clump of grass that I had used for the other drawing, and like a magician scarf, or I don't know what, that just was very intuitive. And then she did this, and I'm like, hmm. So <laughs> <laughs> then she did this. Yeah. I did this, which was kind of like, also kind of like, God, that's really horrible. Um, but again, you know, it's sort of expressively adequate, even though it's not a very good painting. Um, and kind of, so we, we got this kind of, um, you know, tantric uh, thing going with the triangles and male and female triangles and those kinds of patterns. And so, we, um, so I didn't have time or energy for all that. And I was really stressing out. And I was just like, OK, watch this. So I, I took this little piece of vellum. And, and I really love this piece. So I, Yeah, I love it as a response. And then she did this. So you can see we kind of had fun. During this last period bit, she had actually got an in-class teaching position someplace in Long Beach. So she was really excited. So, But I know she was like, it was a substitute. It was like a teacher didn't show up or whatever. So she was preparing in the same time that she was doing it. So I really gave her credit for finishing up. Uh, and then I did this and I just did it with vellum. I like to work with vellum sometimes. So I did that a um, little bit more mystical. I love, you can see, you know, the through line, you know, with the grid and, you know, I loved putting this together and seeing. The breakout? But yeah, yeah, totally. And, and then moving in kind of more um, feminist spirituality. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so, and I was so happy for her because when she said, you know, she told me that, you know, she was, wanted to be a high school teacher and she just graduated and we, and you could tell that she, she also had a new boyfriend, uh, a boyfriend living with her, which I think was the first. And so I was, I think we were both like, <laughs> like, let me out, you know, and and we kind of worked our way through that and got and got out of kind of a bad, a tight place <laughs> to make a pun, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, or whatever. Cool. Yeah. Well, so I'm glad it all you. worked out. Yeah, huh? I'm glad like the collaboration worked out. It was it was super fun, and um, uh, you know, I put more energy into it when I wanted to, and I and I did simpler things when I just couldn't. Um, um, couldn't you know how it is and that's what this is about you yeah. know it's like every piece doesn't have to be a masterpiece or it doesn't have to be a three-hour painting 
It could be, what? you know, a cut vellum triangle, you know, which is, it was a perfect, you know, that was like a perfect. Yeah, I like, like that piece. I like action. the little shadow and I like that I had, I've been working on um, these little two by two inch paintings for Kate Carvalho's oh, yeah. dollhouse show. <laughs> so I like how they, they were kind of laying uh, behind the, the, the sketch pad. Oh, cool. <laughs> so I was like, that is really nice. Just like that. Yeah. Perfect. So those are good things to do too. They're, they're good for your creativity to just like, uh, you know, it, you do something spontaneous that you can do really fast with whatever kind of materials and then let it speak to you after you do it. Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Susan. Thank you. Good collaboration. No, it, it, I appreciate it. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, let's see, Maria, let me find your work. Let's see, I think, uh, all right. Yes, thank you, Christine, again, for this uh, amazing <laughs> round. I really enjoyed to work with uh, Deborah, and uh, it was great collaboration, again. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed uh, her technique, and uh, you can, if you can, yeah, uh, help me. So, uh, such simple stuff that we uh, used to throw away <laughs> every day, almost, you know. Uh, but it's so beautiful, and how she's doing that, it's something really, and it's really helps. Uh, it really helps to uh, go out of the box and just to see something else, uh, to explore something unusual some new techniques, uh, some new uh, textures and the materials. It's so beautiful. So it's just composition on the scarf <laughs> because I was so inspired with the colors and uh, my scarf so much matches uh, her previous uh, piece. Yeah, so you can see it's wow. <laughs> uh, so uh, it uh, helped me uh, actually to be more funny and not so academical, you know. It's oh, really awesome. Yeah, some politics was there also. It's about Belarus. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so really a nice collaboration and uh, I'm glad. It's a pity that she's not here today. Yeah. But I thank you so much, Christine, for your uh, project. And uh, of course, I will attend the next round and hey. maybe a uh, mentoring uh, project as well. Oh, good, good. Thank you so much and thanks everyone for being part of that. It's uh, super great. Yeah, and next one, yeah, here is my motto yeah. for all of us. I believe yeah. in us, <laughs> no matter what. <laughs> Perfect. No, this was a, you know, like I said earlier, you know, I, uh -huh. I mean, it's, it's really cool seeing the end result, but I can imagine like you guys going back and forth and like, you know, how, what you were, I mean, you know, I have no idea what you were thinking, but just like playing off of each other and, you know, it's about the process more than anything. Yeah, that's true. And yeah. uh, you every time say, Christine, that we should have ju just have fun and blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> it's not too easy to apply to myself. I, I'm talking about me, but I, I'm sure every, many people can uh, say the same. I say it over and over because I forget. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So thank you, um, everyone. You're so welcome. Much. You're welcome. I think um, anybody else I want to say anything or Ashley I don't want to put you on the spot but <laughs> I, I don't really have um that much to say I mean um I, I was really inspired and really thankful to work with Emily she was a very very great artist and we picked up on each other's color palette and we were able to collaborate yeah, that's my favorite picture that she that she sent. It was like, it gave me like chills. It was such like a deep meaning behind it. And it came, you know, at a, a time I remember it was kind of, maybe it was the news or something that day. It just wasn't a good day. And so that just like really put the, the um, 
that day into perspective. And I've been trying to get a lot of work into my interior design um, hobby. And so I've been making designs like crazy um, and even going, I'm doing like an online school for my certificate in interior design. Um, and uh, so I, I picked up on a lot of her work um, and I felt like, you know, she has like these amazing like textures and her use of um, materials was like insane. Like she did like um, glass, smooth glass and like bamboo. Um, and this was, uh, this is my, another one. This was a texture um, with a bubble, bubble wrap. I was going to say it kind of looked like it. <laughs> So she had these like ways to like put these crazy textures and incorporate like bamboo shoots and fabrics and just really bizarre, bizarre, unique. Um, I've never seen anything like it um, in tour designs like this one. Yeah. And they, they went well with mine because I was like, I can picture that in the interior design before as, you know, maybe like a pillow or something. Um, and so we collaborated really well. Um, yeah, I could use a lot of her textures and, you know, make a wallpaper or something out of them. Oh, that's um, awesome. Yeah. Um, this was like my, sh my, my dream shoe, um, <laughs> my dream shoe store. Uh, and, uh, that, uh, her next piece, um, would be like, that would be in the, on my desk and my... <laughs> my dream shoe store um like i, I have to have that I, I, <laughs> that's just amazing um and this one i felt like you know it was kind of like an asian incorporated theme and um she nailed it the next you know kind of did yeah. like asiany you know um that would uh collaborate with that one um and then this was like um it's the Halloween, um, Halloween design where, um, I feel like it's, have you ever been to the haunted, um, castle at Disneyland? Yeah. 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 So I was thinking, you know, one day I could make rooms for Disneyland or something. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody wants to work at Disneyland, right? <laughs> Maybe not during COVID, but normally. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, and this one too. I mean, I, it's like her um, rope and like gems, and then on that, um, I forget what it's called, um, meth black. Um, oh, uh, that uh, that uh, fabric um, that she used. Yeah. Awesome. It, um, she, she wasn't going to sign up. She works with me, works for me for shoebox. And yeah, that's like, what she was telling me. Emily, I'm one short. <laughs> and she was like so busy. She's like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but she told me, she's like, oh my God, I'm so glad I did it. She had oh. a great time working with you too. So. <laughs> yeah, she was like really inspiring. Oh, good, good. I'm going to go back and stop sharing as we end, but um, does anybody have any more comments or anything about call and response? Or um, don't forget to sign up for round nine, which um, there's still a week left. Please share with your friends too. You know, the more the merrier. I think there's only 30 or 40 people signed up so far. Um, so normally the last week we have a bigger influx, but um, and then again, my peer mentorship program, it's free. All I do is pair you up with another artist and you mentor each other. So it's about like, you know, sharing your experiences, your resources and tools, um, you know, critiquing each other's art. So that's also on the website, shoeboxpr.com. So, um, but thank you guys so much for being here. I mean, especially today, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Um, you know, it's such a celebratory day, and uh, and I felt it here too. So, um, yeah, yeah. No, thank you. Thank you, thank Christine. You. Another great round again. You're welcome. You're welcome. My favorite one so far. Oh, good. 
Yay! <laughs> so far, we're doing more. <laughs> Good job, Ashley. I like your design work, by the way. Thanks, Joanna. Thank you. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, a lot of, this seemed more of a surreal, a surreal round. Like a lot of the collaborations, there were a lot of surreal elements in it, which was really cool and poetic. Yeah, you know, it was, yeah, it was a good round. So the next one will be more interesting. I mean, will be interesting with Thanksgiving, with the elections, with, uh, so we'll see what happens there. <laughs> All righty, everybody have a great night. And thank you, Gareth. You're welcome. Bye. You're welcome. Bye, everyone. Bye. 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 <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Good night. Good night. Good night. <laughs>